How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Today is August the 8th. Time is just flying by. I can't believe it. A vision of missions. A vision for missions. Can't read either. Everyone who calls on, on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Romans 10, 13 through 15. For the Lord gave us this command when he said, I have made you a light to the Gentiles to bring salvation to the farthest corner of the earth. Acts thirteen forty seven. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all people. First Corinthians, First Chronicles, get the two confused. First Chronicles sixteen twenty four. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and to all Judah and Samurai and to the end of the earth. Acts one eight. Go into the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark sixteen fifteen. Publish his glorious deeds. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he's done. <laughs> amazing things he does. Psalms ninety six three. All God's children are called to be witnesses to share his good news with them. It started in Jerusalem and spread all over the world. For the disciples, Jerusalem, Jerusalem was a place of fear. Jesus was crucified and the Jews wanted their heads and the Jews wanted their heads too. Samurai was Samurai Samurai was the location of the enemy. Jesus sent them to their enemies and frightening places because he knew the Spirit would equip them to be brave witnesses for him. How to handle criticism. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave them home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Matthew 10, 14. Jesus spoke the words of today's scripture to his disciples when he sent them out to minister two by two. He was aware of that not everyone would receive them or be kind to them. He knew that some would mock and or criticize them, rejecting reject their message and reject their message. You may also encounter criticism or rejection and the instruction Jesus gave his disciples is good advice for you too. He basically said, shake it off. Jesus knew about criticism and rejection. Isaiah prof prophesied long before Jesus was born that he would be despised and rejected by mankind. A man of suffering, a, fam a familiar and familiar with pain, Isaiah 53.3, when he was criticized and mocked during his life on earth. He typically ignored it. 
Matthew 27, 11, and 12. Many times the best way to handle criticism is to keep quiet and keep moving forward. I encourage you to stay calm and not become angry, knowing that peace is the powerful spiritual weapon. Resist the temptation to be defensive, knowing that God is your vindictor and walk in forgiveness towards those who try to hurt you or damage your re reputation knowing that forgiveness is god's will for you matthew 6 14 and 15. father help me to shake off criticism and rejection when i must deal with it help me to do so wisely and to and in accordance with your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later. Love you. Bye now. God bless.